Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim. Today I'm going to talk about four basic things to know uh, when you do a web design in Dreamweaver. Number one, HTML and CSS basics. I'm not going to talk about the whole thing today. I will make a link to our previous video uh, about HTML and CSS. Link is over there. And also, I'm going to make a link to um, uh, my previous video in my description. Number two, image preparation. What's the proper image file format for your website? JPEG, GIF file, PIN file, or SVG. Number three, web safe color. What's the difference between 256 color versus 216 colors? What is the web safe color? What's the hexadecimal color? So we're going to talk about that. Number four, site definition in Dreamweaver. So um, uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. So first, HTML and CSS. Uh, these two language is a kind of a basic structure and a basic presentation of a single web page. So first, HTML, as you can see, is a kind of bare-bone structure. And the CSS is a kind of styling, giving a better presentation and gives some more function. Okay, so I will make a link to on these two previous videos about the basic HTML and then the CSS uh, video tutorial, so you can follow it. Uh, so let me show you something really simple. Uh, let me open one single web page of this, uh, htmlcolorcodes.com. And then uh, the source is just like this. It's very, it's very complicated. Uh, but uh, every single page, a very simple uh, web page and very complicated one, it starts with opening HTML tag like this. And then it ends with closing HTML slash and HTML. And then each HTML may have the uh, kind of uh, internally or inline or the external uh, CSS file to style your web page. So uh, HTML and CSS are kind of a behind the scene uh, of what you are seeing on your web browser. So even though you do not understand it, the whole thing because the HTML and CSS are such a big one, uh, but um, it is really good to know the basic structure of those. And then when we use a Dreamweaver, uh, sometimes we need to change the code manually. Number two, uh, image preparation for the web. So there are the multiple file formats you can use. So first one, uh, the most well-known um, file format is a JPG file, JPEG. So JPEG file is ideal for the photo images, something like this. This is my bird. And then um, um, any image with a complex area like a gradient and shade things. And then um, when you save it, you can go to File, Export, and Save for Web. And there are the multiple options. You may have something like this, Original or Optimized. Two up, four up. Normally I use this option. So what it does, uh, this is the original on the top left corner and you will see that yeah, the other file format and the file size JPEG and the one megabyte something this let me, once you choose this you can change the file format to JPEG and then I'm gonna choose it to a low and this one JPEG and medium quality and this one JPEG and the high quality. So um, the function of this window is you can compare each file format and each quality of your file uh, to um, the original one. And then um, the important thing is smaller is better always on the web. So I will have to check the file size but at the same time I have to check the other image quality. So we have to catch the two rabbits quality and the size. So a um, smaller file is better, but at the same time, you will need to keep the other descent quality. So this is the original. 
So this is a JPEG low. It's only 19K byte. It's amazing compression. But um, um, I see that it's a kind of a pixelating a little bit. And the medium quality is at a 30K byte. And the high quality, 59, almost a 60K byte. Those three are all pretty small. So I can choose maybe um, I may debate in between these two. Medium quality or high quality. But um, I would choose the yeah, maybe high quality like this. So let me save it. Then you can do that. Okay. The next thing is uh, the GIF file. So GIF file is uh, ideal for the, the solid block of color images, like a logo design. And also, uh, GIF file, you can create some kind of animation like this. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to make a link to um, this uh, video tutorial as well. Timeline, let me play it. So this is an animated GIF file. It's a really simple file with uh, 10 different images. And the file says it's not that big. And uh, uh, you can play this. You can view this animation on a web browser without any player or a plugin file. When you need to save it, same thing. For the web, always go to the file, save for web. Export and save for web. Then make sure you choose your file format as GIF. Once you save it, it will save as the animated GIF file. Okay. And the next file format is the, uh, the PNG file, ping file format. Uh, let me close my timeline. Ping file will have the kind of uh, uh, the highest quality of your image. But at the same time, the image file says it's going to be big. Normally, I use this uh, when I need to keep the kind of transparent background. So, for example, this letter K with um, some kind of drop shadow effect and then a transparent background. Then, uh, I'm going to use it. Go to File, Export, Save for Web, and then please choose the PNG24, Ping24. And check this box, transparency. If you do not check this, it will flatten with a kind of white background box. So I'm going to check this. And export it as the ping 24. Okay. So that's the third one. Number four is SVG file. Scale level vector graphics. So uh, for example, uh, let's say that you uh, design the, uh, the, your logo on Illustrator as a vector graphics. So maybe I can export it as a JPEG or a PNG file from here. So go to File, uh, Export, Save for Web. We have the kind of the same options here. So I can choose the maybe JPEG or the PNG24 and Transparent Background. We can do that. But if you save this way, what happens is it will rasterize your vector graphics. So that means it will be pixel based like a bitmap image. So that meaning uh, it is a resolution dependent. So, but uh, if you export it as the SVG file, it is the resolution independent. Uh, that means it is free from the um, kind of a scaling up or down without losing any quality of your image. I'm going to show you how, how it works. So under file, save as, and please choose file format SVG. Okay, just like this. So cancel. I already saved it. Now number three, uh, web safe color. Um, back in the early days of the web, most computers only had the 8-bit video cards, meaning 8-bit colors, 8-bit depth. So it is the, the 256 colors. So out of those 256 colors, uh, those 40 colors are reserved for uh, operating system. So um, I'm using Mac OS, but um, Windows, uh, MS Windows or the Linux computers or some other computer stations, they may use their different colors for their system operation, operating systems. So uh, those 40 colors are uh, reserved for the operating systems. So um, 256 versus 216, there are 40 color differences. So if you use the web safe color, 216 colors, 
those are safe colors on any web browsers. So that means uh, if you use the any color out of 216, then the, your viewer, no matter what stations, what computers they're using, it will have the same presentation. And then uh, the web safe color, uh, also it is called yeah, the hex, uh, hex code color. So this is their website I'm using, htmlcolorcodes.com. And then as you can see it, there are a lot of kind of different color pickers. But um, when you choose it, let me choose this green. Maybe this one, eh, maybe that. See that? That's, the, that's my color choice, and you can see the hex. There are six digit numbers. So first two digits represent red combination. Second two digits, green. Last two digits for blue, RGB. And then also you can see the RGB coordination and HSL coordinations here. Let me show you the same thing on Photoshop. So this is a Photoshop. Let me open the, my color picker. When you pick it, any color, you see that this hex code keeps changing. Or if you want to look for, you uh, use the, the web safe colors, click here, only web color. So you see that the more limited numbers of colors. Okay. So if you need to use this color on Illustrator, just yeah, take note of this color or copy and paste it to the Illustrator. So let me copy this. Command C or Control C. Now let me go back to Adobe Illustrator here. Then open the color picker, only web colors, or highlight it and paste it. So that's the color. See? That's the same color I chose from Photoshop. Okay. Now, I explained it very briefly about the HTML, CSS, and then the image file formats, and the web safe color. Now, uh, I'm ready to uh, make the design of the new web page using Dreamweaver. So when you open the new Dreamweaver, the one of the most important thing is site definition. So uh, let me check my folder. In my folder, uh, this is a Dreamweaver basics folder, I have the images folder. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pick, I'm going to choose this Dreamweaver basics, this folder as my root, as my root folder, which contains everything. Uh, first, let me delete this file. We're going to make it trash. Okay. So first, once you open Dreamweaver, go to site menu and new site. Site name could be anything. I'm going to uh, name it as the, uh, the HTML basic. It could be any name. And the important thing is local site folder. This is the root folder. Uh, this is a very important because uh, on the web design, everything's about the linking. So um, my root folder is going to be a Dreamweaver basics. That's my root. And choose it. Before you say save, click on save button, go to advanced settings, and then this is important, default images folder. So click on the browse button, images, because this is the folder that I have everything, all the images, all images. Choose it and save it. Okay, now I'm ready to, so uh, you see that on your files tab, you're going to see that your HTML basis, your site name, and then your contents in your root folder. So I'm going to create new. Let me choose that just the uh, document type as HTML and none and create it. Okay. So this is the end the one perfect HTML file. You see that? Make sure you're using the split mode here. starting with the HTML and closing in HTML. So this is a perfect document. Now, let me import the image first. So once you uh, open this new file, go to Insert tab, and under HTML tag, I'm going to uh, insert the image, 
image. So first, let me insert the, the JPEG file, JPEG. That's the one, the first one we did. So I have this, this is my bird, 600 pixel by 600 pixel. Now, I'm going to insert another image. So uh, let me choose this. Let me this time insert the image. This time this image goes after my bird. I'm going to import the um, uh, animated key file. This one. Open. See? And the number three, PNG file. So I'm going to ins import yeah, the transparent pink file, the letter K. Insert the image. After k.png file. See? Okay. And then, number four, I'm going to import the uh, insert this time SVG file. After SVG. So it looks pretty big. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to uh, keep the same size. So, uh, everything is the, um, the width and height. So this is why that we need to know the, uh, the code, uh, basic structure of the HTML code. So width and height. I'm going to copy this. Copy. And then, my last SVG file, which is this. Let me have that before alt uh, code and paste it. See? So everything has the same size. Okay. Now let me save this file as please always save as the index.html of your first page. Index.html Okay. So let me check my root for So now I have the index.html and then let me open it in my web browser. See? Okay, so JPEG, animated GIF, anima uh, transparent pink file, and SVG file. And let me try this. Uh, back to Dreamweaver. I want to have a different background color. Okay, then this time what I'm going to do is body, after your body tag, let me have the body BG color. You see that? So this is a good thing about Dreamweaver. Once you start, there's some code. Uh, it will give you a hint. My BG color equal color picker. Click on that. And then choose any color you like. You see the hex code here? Or you may the, the, uh, manually type the number. It really doesn't matter. Okay. Maybe this pink. Something brighter. And return. See, so I have this. And watch this. See, this transparent pink file has a really uh, smooth transition between the background and the figure. Let me resave it. On my web browser, let me refresh. So I have a different background. Okay, so um, um, I very briefly explained about yeah, the four things to know before you design the uh, website using Dreamweaver. Uh, so um, HTML, CSS, a image file format, and then a web safe color, and then site definition and Dreamweaver. So I hope that you enjoyed this video, and then I hope that this helps your project. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.